Hi guys, you're welcome to the Labra Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the GIF Image View. Uh, the Android Image View that handles animated GIF images. What about we'll be using some core dependencies like the GIF Image View, the uh, OK HTTP, and as well, we'll be talking about the vectors. What about we'll be uh, including the render scripts into the Gradle uh, file. I'll be moving straight to Android Studio where I have my source file and I'll be explaining in details of how the application is actually built. The build.gradle model app session. Uh, in my dependencies, I have the OK HTTP, which is very important because we will be uh, calling uh, a GIF image from uh, an external URL from the cloud. So that's why we need the OK HTTP to actually make our HTTP calls. We'll also be needing the GIF image view 2.1.0. This is actually the library that calls the, the classes used uh, in incorporating the GIF image into our image view. And for the vector, for the rendering scripts, uh, you need to include the render script target API 19 and the render script support mode enabled true these two lines are very important for you to include a render script uh, into your uh, source file after you might have done that you can be able to call different methods using the render script uh, library and it's going to work very fine I'll be moving straight to the rest where we'll talk about the layout we have two layouts here the activity main and the activity grid uh, the activity main is the default UI of the application whereby we have a linear layout uh, whereby we set the pattern left right top and bottom all 16 dps your orientation is vertical the button we have like uh three buttons here uh, the first button is for the toggle animation where we get to toggle to different uh, kind of animation uh, the second button is to clear up the animation to stop the animation uh, that's what the button is uh, we call the clear GIF the third button is to make the animation, that's the GIF image blur. Whereby you have the analysis assigned to it called PTN blur. And now, instead of the normal image view you used to have, you're going to have the uh, GIF view library tag as the image view. Whereby we have an ID called GIF image view. That's actually going to have uh, the ID of this particular application. Uh, of this particular image uh, view which is going to hold on to the GIF. We have the scale type, fit to center, the layout width, match parent, and the layer to height, match parent. And we are going to have another one for the grid, whereby you're going to have GIF for different, uh, uh, you know what the grid actually means when you have uh, the screen or probably the UI uh, screen is being divided into different vertex, uh, whereby you have like a card layout of different uh, uh, views now we're going to have the grid view as a tag as the parent tag whereby we assign an id to it called grid view the patterns are all set appropriately to 16 dps and uh, the context is calling from the grid view activity that takes us down to our java classes i'll be talking about the main activity we have the grid view activity we have the gif grid adapter the GIF data downloader and the byte array HTTP client and the blur class itself. Now the main activity extends a compact activity and implements view on click listener. Whereby we set different fields here. Uh, so the main activity set the GIF image view, the button toggle, the button blur, and we instantiate the should blur to false. We have a blur field as well. We have our create method where we sort the content due to the activity main just explained. We instantiate the GIF image view, the toggle, the blur, to its different IDs, and uh, we call on the button clear out also we assign it to its ID called button clear. Now the blur, we get the new instance. We set the frame available to the GIF image view, passing the GIF image view on frame available method. Get to look at that method very shortly now we have the on frame available method whereby if should blur you're going to return the blur bitmap 
you know that's what that's going to do and we're going to set on animation stop probably when you click on the stop animation there's going to be a ui thread running they're going to have a toast telling you gracefully that the animation has stopped now we set on click listeners to the toggle the clear and the blur we have on post execute for the bytes now the GIF image is going to set the byte to start the animation while the, we get the GIF width is passing the GIF image view getting the GIF width and we're going to get the height as well so we are going to actually call the GIF from this link you know, and try to modify this to your uh, desired link just using a dummy link here just to call the GIF uh, animation now we have the create method where we have the main menu the option item selected which is going to be for the uh, for the option selected which is at the top bar of the uh, UI or by we're going to call an intent to give us a grid view activity class it's going to push us to the grid view activity class we have an on click here or by if the the, the, uh, the view which is the object is equals to button toggle you know it's going to test have a, this is a nested if statement what about the GIF image view if it's animating you know it's going to stop the animation else it's going to start the animation so if it's blur you know it's going to make it blur and if it's clear it's going to set clear to the GIF image that's just for the buttons you know this is actually holding to the on click of each buttons now I'll be looking at the GIF data downloader let's look how the, the data has been downloaded but we extend async tax we use async tax here to actually download the image what about we're going to have two in background this is going to actually be happening in the background you know it's not something that you could be seeing visibly we could have added uh, a progress bar but i don't think it's necessary for this uh application now we have the byte array http clients calling uh, the gif url which you saw earlier and if there is out of memory error that's going to use going to actually uh, lock this to tag gracefully now we have for the blur actually makes uh, the images go blur when you click on the blur button you know where right, right, it's going to set uh, the change the RGB you know to another uh, color code to actually make the uh, images go blur it's just what that's doing now let's get to look at our manifest the manifest actually we're going to uh have a permission the the android permission internet that's very very important and we have the launcher activity and also we're going to call on the grid view activity which is the second activity that has been passed to an intent any activity that uses an intent you need to register it right in your manifest forget that I'll be uploading this source file to my GitHub account and I'll be showing this in an Android emulator for you to actually see how the uh, GIF animation is being displayed in your UI. So stay tuned. Here we go with the GIF image view application. Uh, you have your application right sitting there. It is the menu button for the uh, grid view. You have the toggle animation. You have the clear GIF and you have the toggle blur. Right, this is being done in, that, on, in the background. In the background, uh, the GIF has been loading, so you can easily see uh, the GIF being displayed uh, without even a button click. You know, based on the fact that we've created that particular space uh, for the GIF uh, image, calling the library itself into this particular portion. Uh, this is going to actually toggle to a modern one. You can see uh, this shark here, on here. right? Uh, being uh, in, in forming a, a sort of uh, movement and this is a uh, GIF uh, image or GIF animation being displayed so you should get a full clip of how to actually display GIF uh, in, your, in, your, in your application let's get to look at the toggle block uh, this is actually going to uh, blur the image you notice there is a blur right on the animation you can easily see uh, vividly on it uh, because it looks blur so you can easily toggle it back to get a clearer view of, uh, of the of the image and uh, and that's where you can toggle the animation you know I stop it take it gets back to focus then you can also clear the GIF 
and you can go to the grid aspect where you have all uh, the GIF in grids. You know, clicking on this grid will actually take you to uh, the grid uh, the grid view activity where you get to see uh, the GIF in grids. You know, it's actually loading in the background, so it's not actually going to populate just immediately. It's downloading some of the uh, GIF uh, animation right from the URL. That's why we use the OKHttp OK to actually call these. So you should exercise a little patience based on the speed of your internet. Uh, the GIF uh, image will start populating one after the other. Right, can you, can you get to see one of it? Waving at you. Second, populates towards this side, right? You get to see it. The third will get right underneath here. Or the fourth will come over here just like that. Thank you very, very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to sus subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye bye.